Hey, it's Jen Vax with YourColorStyle.com. This is a color analysis that I did for a VIP color analysis customer. She has given me permission to share her case study on YouTube. So this video is a portion of that recorded live call. And I adjusted it a little bit as well. She looked very, very green here. And there's no way that this is the normal color. So I adjusted it. So I hope that's correct. But I think it is. I think this is much more accurate here. So we're going to use this photo for Bonnie. Um, Bonnie, she has the bright and cool on the left and the bright and warm on the right. And right away, it is bright and warm is not correct. Um, the, the blue base pinks on the left actually look uh, pretty great. They're a little strong. It could just be the choices of colors that I that I used here. Um, but let's keep looking. Uh, we have soft and warm on the right and soft and cool on the left. And the warm colors are certainly not correct. So we're definitely looking at cool undertones here. And I need to pick up my notes because I need to know where I went with this one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. I remember now. Okay. I've, I've, I, I was, I go into like, everything's, everything sounds the same after a while. I forget <laughs> where I'm going with this. Um, all right, so we know it's cool undertones. So we're gonna we're gonna compare now between soft and bright. And the reason that I it was not a it's not a sure thing for me right away is that I, she didn't she doesn't look bad in the soft and cool, and she doesn't look bad in the bright and cool. But it doesn't either. I did it too strong for her on the bright and cool. I, I feel like we're somewhere in the in, in between. Um, but she has enough contrast. I feel like maybe the brighter colors might be better for her. So I compared. We have soft, cool, and deep on the left, which is by the way, where she would be. So as far as values go, she's deep. She has very dark hair. Even with the gray coming in, she's very, she has very dark hair and therefore really needs the deep color palette. When I when that happens, and I know that she's cool, now we're looking at cool and deep, right? or maybe even cool and medium, but soft or bright. And if I put her in soft, cool and deep, this did nothing for her. And this is the style of colors in this palette in general, even though there are some brighter colors in there. And I'm thinking that is just not working. We're on the right with the brighter, this is a bright, cool and medium purple. And I think it looks much better on her. So then it was really a matter of, is she medium or is she deep? So I like her on the bright and cool. I think it really does lighten her up and brighten her up. Um, the bright cool, and I'm going to contradict myself now because I had said she's deep, and this is what I this is what I do. I go back and forth, and I I balance the different what I know are in these color palettes and what's really going to work for this person. Bright, cool, and deep, as I've said before, can be a very harsh color palette. Um, so I went ahead and started to play around. So I put her in white on the left, which is true for medium or for deep, I think even for light. And she looks great in white. It really just kind of lightens her up, picks up the white in her eyes, picks up the white in her hair. It's really great. Deep would, would be able to wear black really well. And I just don't, I think deep, I mean, not, not by the way, not that you can't wear black, but I'm trying to figure out the best color palette for you. I feel like these deeps are really strong and I'm not loving it nearly as much. So I'm actually going to say in this case to go with bright, cool and medium. And so I picked up a few colors that I thought would be really interesting. And the reason I picked these yellows is not because I think, oh, these are the best colors ever. It's because your eyes have these yellow this, these yellow, this yellow in it, which I know can be very confusing for some people having this yellow, but in the bright, cool and medium and bright, cool and deep color palette, there is a chartreuse and there is a lemon yellow. And I think that both of these will be really, really interesting on you and really bring out those, 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 those qualities in your eyes. You can obviously always go for your blues, but I think some, like, something like this would also be very, very interesting. Um, yeah, Bonnie, black drowns you. I just think it's just a little bit too heavy. But I definitely think that the bright, cool colors are really going to be um, very flattering overall, though. And I went ahead and put you in a blue that I think is also going to pick up your eyes here. So I would go with bright, cool, and medium. I don't think deep is correct. And maybe it's because your hair is lightening up a little bit and, um, and your eyes are light and your skin is light. So 
in this case, for whatever the reason is, that nothing's ever, you know, I'll, <laughs> I'll pun it, but nothing's ever black and white. Um, in this case, I think bright cooling medium is going to be much more flattering. You have just watched an online color analysis provided by our VIP color analysis service. If you would like to finally learn what your most flattering color palette is, then this VIP service is for you. Visit yourcolorstyle.com slash VIP. That's yourcolorstyle.com slash VIP. Would you like to learn how to do this yourself? Your Color Style offers a professional certification program that teaches you how to do online color analysis for yourself and for women and men around the world. Visit yourcolorstyle.com slash pro to learn all about our professional certification program. I'm Jen program. Vax, and thank you so much for watching.